So welcome back to another video here. We are going to be talking about Ghostface, the Ghostface character. My last video I talked about um talked about the uh Michael Myers character. So in this video I'm going to talk about the Ghostface character. So the Ghostface character is probably it's up there with the Michael Myers for sure. As far as like it being iconic. Because the look of Ghostface is very, very, like, very fascinating. I like the look of Ghostface, in, you know, in the screen movies. The Ghostface, you know. Wes Craven came up with the idea of um, the Ghostface character. So, I give him credit for that. So, and the mask as well and the robe and all that. So... What makes the screen movies, like I said, so fascinating and just the character itself is that, you know, the phone calls and all that, the chase scenes, it just makes it so much like, it just makes it real, you know? Um, the screen movies, obviously, you know, they're a whodunit factor, you know, it's a whodunit movie, um, which that's what, sep that's what separates it from the other films. That's what makes it, you know, a little better than the other films because of the whodunit factor because it's more humanly, um, it's a more humanly movie as opposed to, you know, it being like, you know, like super, like a supernatural, like entity or something like Michael Myers, like Jason and all that. Screen movies are just human, you know, more humanly. So it's just like the phone calls and all that. Uh, just chase scenes, all that stuff just makes it so, so like, so iconic, so, you know, amusing. It's just so, it's a great, it's just a great, you know, concept. It's just a great, you know, character as a whole. You know, the character of Ghostface, you know, like I said, the phone calls is probably the best part. Roger L. Jackson's voice, obviously. Um... It's very, like, creepy. It really goes... It really fits well with the character. Um, Just the robe and just the look. It just fits the whole, you know, whodunit factor. And the mask, obviously. It just fits the whole, you know, whodunit factor. Um, So, that's what makes these movies so iconic. So, like... Is, that's why it separates, you know, separated from the other movies as far as realism. Because this movie is, real, like, realistic. It's more humanly and all that. And it's just a great, so con it's just a great character. The character of Ghostface is iconic. No doubt about it. Like, you know, I, I think it's, you know, the mask and all that is just as iconic as the, uh, Michael Myers mask for sure, and this movie is more of a like a whodunit movie. So it's just like, um, people would like to compare it, you know, to other movies and all that. Uh, it's far more different. It's a different idea. Different. I'm glad that Wes Craven came up, you know, with the idea. Well, it's mostly Kevin Williamson, I think. Um, Wes Craven though, I think got the like the mask. Um, the mask was actually already, like, real. The mask was already, like, it was around already. They just got the rights. Uh, they asked Fun World if they could, you know, use it, you know, for the mask. Because Fun World is the one, the company that owns, you know, the mask. So the Ghostface mask already existed before, um, before the Scream even had came out. So... Wes Craven had, you know, got the rights. He had got, you know, he got permission to, you know, use it in the screen movies. So, uh, they let him use it. They let him, Fun World, you know, gave him permission. So, if that wasn't, if, if Fun World never, if Fun World said, hey, you got to make your own or something like that, I don't think it would be as, you know, as good. Okay. You know, without Fun World's mask, you know, this, ghost, this Ghostface mask, I don't think Scream would be as great. 
you know, if it looked like something else. Because I think this look is just perfect for the character. I think the robe really fits well with it. Um, I wouldn't like any other mask. I think this mask is perfect, perfect you know, for the movies. It, it just fits really well with the whodunit. But let me know in the comment section, as always, what do you guys think about, the, like, the ghost face character as a whole? And just the look, like, of the character. Because the robe and all that, and just the hood, you know, along with the mask, just, I, it just fits that mystery. It just fits that, you know, whodunit. Like, you don't know who's under the mask. You don't know who's the one that's doing the killings. It's just like a mystery costume. It's just, if it's really, really intelligent, really great, you know, idea. You know, Wes Craven. Just the mask was, I, I, that's crazy that the mask already, ex, you know, existed though. Like, before uh, the movie actually came out. Before the movie was actually uh, being made. Like, so, that's actually, actually, like, crazy stuff. So, I think out of all the iconic, you know, killers and out of all the icons, the ghost face mask, I think the ghost face mask was the only mask that existed, like, before, uh, because the Michael Myers mask, obviously, Halloween, uh, they made that, they had to make that, so, leather face mask, Texas chainsaw mask, or whatever, they had to make that mask. Freddy Krueger, I think they came up with that look. Um, so the Ghost Face, the Scream movies are the only movies where they actually didn't have to make the mask. They actually just got the rights from a company to use it because the mask already had it, you know, the mask already existed. So um, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that because it's very interesting. The screen movies didn't they didn't have to make the mask. They just got the rights. So um with that being said though, y'all, comment down below as always. What do you guys think about the Ghostface character and just all the movies in general and just the style of the movies? Um and let me know what you guys think about like just the character as a whole. With that being said, See y'all in the next one.